What up my nerds, I'm Ricardo the Roleplay Gamer, and I like to party. Welcome to For the King. This is an early access RPG with roguelike elements, so it's basically every game on the face of the planet right now. <laughs> but this one's really good, so let's play it. We're going to do a solo adventure here, new game, easy. So, this is not an easy game. Easy here is a lie. <laughs> you can make decent progress, but yeah, it's not it's not easy. It's not a cakewalk. Uh, I have tried hardcore and I get stomped in five minutes. It's really, really bad. So uh, I have, just in the interest of full disclosure, I have received this game for free from developers for the purpose of doing a review, critique, playthrough, whatever. Uh, but that does not color my opinion of the game one way or the other. I genuinely do enjoy it and I'm going to be praising the shit out of it because it's a lot of fun. All right, so you've got a, a three... You've got a party system here. You've, you're, you're playing as a party. You've got three adventurers. Um, I'm not going to go into the story too much, but basically you're not soldiers. You're just you're just people. You're citizens of this of this empire of this kingdom, um, who have been called into action to to save the world from chaos. So that's the point here. I'll just quickly go through what we got. We got the minstrel uh, busker who we've recently unlocked, but I haven't tried yet. Uh, we got the woodcutter who is locked. We've got the blacksmith. We've got the hunter scholar who's like a mage. Uh, herbalist who is locked. Uh, the Trapper, and who's sort of like a, I don't know, like a, a sneak melee, I guess? Uh, and back to the Minstrel. So this is my preferred party makeup at the moment. This is what I've had the most success with so far. The Minstrel's sort of a buffer, uh, plus she can do a little bit of damage with her loot, so she's literally killing people softly with her song. Any game that allows you to do direct combat damage with music is A-OK -okay in my book. <laughs> So we've got Warwick the Hunter here. So all these names are changeable. The, the colors of, of everything here is, is, is customizable. Uh, but beyond that, the only way to change the appearance of your heroes is with items. So armor and weapons actually appear on the character models, which is fucking beautiful. I love that. Um, so Hunter is, is sort of into sneaking, I guess, uh, and evasion. So he's going to be good for trying to sneak past combat when we don't want to get tied up in combat. Like if we need to get something done quickly. He also, uh, I believe, has the ability to, to take more steps in the overworld um, on occasion. And you've got the trapper who, like I said, is sort of... She's an ambusher, you know? So we've got this ambush mechanic where we can we can roll to, to get the jump on enemies. When you, You'll see once we actually get into combat. Uh, she's also good at disarming traps and and whatnot. So we, we do have the closest thing to like a proper tank, I think is a blacksmith. Um, I'm not a huge fan, you know, I probably just haven't figured out how to play it yet, but you know, we're going to stick with this party makeup for the time being, we're going to start the game. So this explains the story so far. I'm going to leave it there if you want to pause and read it, but essentially, uh, the king, the king, who's like a benevolent, beautiful king has died and the golden age that he ushered in is is gone as a result. So now chaos is uh, is sneaking into the world, evil monsters and shit, and there's guys trying to hatch a evil plan, cultists and, and shit, you know, with basic fantasy stuff. It, it's serviceable. It's, it's, it's sort of, it, it's pretty good as like a backdrop story to this uh, fairly generic fantasy world. Uh, but I, I say generic not as a derogatory term. It's just, you know, you 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 know what to expect here. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we're not soldiers. We're just citizens who have been called into action to save the world, essentially. Which is pretty cool. All right, so procedural generation, my friends. This is what makes the game, in my opinion, so fun and easy to replay. So even though the major quests, not the side quests, but the major quests are the same and the city names are the same every time you boot up a campaign, uh, the locations and whatnot are different. And that, surprisingly enough, is enough for each playthrough to feel fresh, at least in my opinion. So this is the queen. First, the wizard Vexor vanishes. Then my own husband was slain in his palace. You may be the last hope of Farul. Yes. <laughs> Seek out Hildebrandt in Woodsmoke. You will be told how best to aid our efforts. Your quest has begun. You must complete it within 14 rounds, otherwise our kingdom will be consumed by chaos. Now, if we don't complete it in 14 rounds, it's not game over. It just means it gets a whole lot harder for us. So chaos increases, uh, more shit happens. <laughs> We've got basically dungeons that if we don't clear them out, they become like 
really dangerous or something like that. Um, I tend to do things within the time limit. So, you know, I can't say for sure what's going to happen if we, if we dawdle. So this is, you know, wood smoke is always called wood smoke, but it's, you know, last time I played, it was a little bit closer. So this is going to be a little bit of a schlep to get over there. Uh, but for the moment, can we get like a quest maybe? Bounty item, gold, retrieval. Um, our rabid war bear is ravaging the farms and destroying the crops in the guardian forest. Eternal thanks. Yep. I just want to get something that's close, you know. Sunken wharf. Um, pick up the leather pouch from the... Uh, return it to... I don't want to necessarily do a fetch quest. Um... Unless, hang on, Sunken Wharf. Can we can we find out where that is? Rustic Landing, Private Marina. We're probably gonna have to find it. Yeah, I don't want to waste time doing that. So let's just take a let's let's, let's kill the war bear. Scary goat. Let's kill the war bear and hope that's not too far away. Hey, that's fucking perfect. Okay, so the so the the issue I've had with the game so far, an issue in that. The difficulty I've had with it, just trying to beat it. Alright, we have failed the ambush, but that's okay. It's just one guy. I don't, I don't think ambush would have done anything for us anyway. Um, the issue I had is not doing things within the allowed time limit. It's that I do things within the time limit, but then I'm not powerful enough to defeat the main quest. So I want to try and slip in as many side quests as I can to level up and get gear and whatnot. Uh, so this is combat. It's JRPG style, which is not usually my bag, but oddly enough, I'm really into it this time around. So we're gonna, we're using um, Warwick here, it's Warwick's turn, so we've got the option of just taking a shot uh, for 6 damage and it's a 78%. Um, his stat here is Awareness uh, to use his bow, and I believe a lot of the skills are uh, tied to weapons, which is interesting. So you can essentially change your character classes in the middle of a game, but that's not necessarily wise, because um, if you try and, like, I don't even know... Like, Annabeth here has less awareness than Warwick. So if we give her a bow, she's more, probably not going to be as good uh, as Warwick would be with a bow. So this guy has no armor. There's no need to try and go for this armor-ignoring shot. Let's just take a shot. And I'm just taking things slow here to explain the basic premise to you. But, you know, we're going to move along fairly quickly once uh, I feel like I've, I've at least gotten across the basic information. So again, similar thing here. We can do ignore armor or just take a shot with Kate, our trapper. She's just going to lunge with her, uh, with her spear. We're going to do it. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect, uh, roll there. And here we go. We can, we can kill this guy softly with our song. So some enemies will have, uh, stats like that. They'll be immune to stun. And thankfully they actually display that, um, up here under, under the health bar. This guy is not immune to stun. So I think we're going to actually try and stun him. No. And we fail. <laughs> At least we do two damage, I guess. Oh, what a dodge, though. What a dodge. Feels right. Okay. So these early battles are going to be, you know, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. We're just clicking through. Um, especially when we're just against one enemy. That was pretty good. Okay, quest complete. Uh, we can actually choose who gets the gold as well, which is pretty cool. I think we're going to get a, give it to Warwick because he's probably going to be our front, front runner. Um probably leading the party places, so he's going to get to town first. So maybe let's just make sure he has most of the gold. Okay, um, and we're, so we're coming down this way, so we actually can't go through, like, the forests here, or is there, are those peaks? They're probably forests. So let's move back here. Hey, cool, so she got an, an extra two movement points, just because it's a nice day. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Okay, so we've rolled a, a perfect roll in terms of movement there for Kate. We're just going to move her along. Um, maybe let's try and sneak through here. What are our chances? So we've got a 41% chance to make it through. We can spend a focus point, make that 71%. Perfect. So we've, uh, we've sneaked through there and, and avoided combat, essentially. Another perfect roll. Beautiful. Um, hang on, let's just have a look here. So if we do get into combat, it's actually only against this guy. So the red squares, uh, designate who's going to be involved in combat. And that includes your party members and 
other enemies. So if there was a red square here, I'd just hit the mic with my arm. I'm pointing at the screen as if you can see me. What? Who is this guy? So if, if, the, if the red square had come all the way up to this B thing here, he would be involved in combat as well. Now, if we roll a successful ambush, then it would just isolate the, um, the beastman warrior here. So let's... Hang on. Is he at... Is that at a... You know what? Let's just move him up here. Oh, loot. Cool. Sometimes this happens. You know, you get little random encounters. Um, magic damage. We're going to collect it and maybe give it to... God, I don't know. Someone else. <laughs> Let's end our turn and then we'll we'll uh, engage in combat here with Annabeth. Uh, beautiful. And it's just started raining. Hopefully you can't hear that. So I think we're just going to fight. Oh, okay. So we are against three guys here. And it's raining pretty hard on my tin roof. Holy shit. I'm terribly sorry for this. Um, okay. So we do have two guys that have armor. So I think we're going we're going to focus on the guy without armor first and take him out real lickety slick quick. Something or other. Okay. Beautiful. A little bit of two-shot meta. Nothing wrong with that at all. Okay, so this is going to ignore resistances. I'm not sure if that's armor included, but... Look, let's just kill him softly with, softly with our song. Or... Actually, let's try and stun him. Perfect. Bit of stun. Bit of dazed. Nothing wrong with that. That's a big hit. But we've got a lot of health. You know, we're the, the odds are sort of stacked in our favor early on, which I appreciate. Uh, let's spend a focus, which basically guarantees one coin flip here. Uh, and we're going to... Fuck. What? What just happened? Okay. What? <laughs> Alright, I think what happened is we spent our focus and then accidentally moved on onto the next skill, which reset the focus, which is annoying, but that's what happened there. Okay. Let's try and do the same. There we go. A nice big hit ignoring armor. That's fine. It does also have controller support, which is what I've been using primarily, uh, just because I've had a bit of a, so a shoulder issue when, and excessive mouse use have, has been aggravating it, which is unfortunate. We're not going to try and go for a ignore armor there. He's only on one health. We just take him out real good. Let's do it. Chip, chip away at him a little bit at a time. So on easy difficulty, we can get away with losing party members. Um, if we lose someone in this encounter, we will, we will get the option to revive them at town, or I think we can still revive them where they are if we send a, one of our alive party members over to revive them. Um, but if we get a full party wipe, that's it. Even on easy, that's the end of it. That's your permadeath right there. In hardcore, you cannot revive your party members in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> so as you can imagine, you know, you can get royally screwed really quickly. Let's kill him softly with our song. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Yes, that should be beautiful. I love it. It's all cutesy and colorful, and then just blood and, and bones explode out of them. <laughs> Makeshift mace. All right, so this is a strength stat. Um, none of our guys... I mean, we can... They can use it for sure, but uh, they're not going to be strong with it. So, for example, I think, oh god, I think it's a. I think Kate uses awareness as well. Is that right? Um, Annabeth might use intelligence. No, 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 Annabeth uses talent, and Warwick the hunter uses awareness. So there's really no point. Um, their strength is not fantastic anyway, so they're, they're going to have a hard time actually hitting with this makeshift mace and a wooden buckler. However, uh, Annabeth, sorry, I mean Kate, our trapper, can actually equip that. So she's actually going to gain an extra one to evasion as a result of this wooden buckler. So that's what we're going to do. And you will see, maybe not at that angle, but her shield has actually changed. Okay, let's keep going. Um... You know, we don't need to heal up just yet. So that's the beauty of the minstrel. She does this inspire thing. So sometimes you get XP from it. Uh, sometimes she'll be able to add focus to 
another character's role, which is really cool. It's just a nice sort of passive buff that goes on in the background that I appreciate. What do we got here? Uh, Weathered Runestone. You kick a stone out of the dirt and find it is carved with ancient runes. <sighs> and we can't, we can't spend focus on this one. So let's just leave it alone. Um, I don't want to lose XP, you know. <laughs> We've only got a 31% chance, essentially, of not losing XP in this case. So uh, we'll leave it alone. Warwick's turn. Let's do this. Um, yep, we can we can move on this and still, you know, not uh, not engage in that if we want. Perfect roll. Boom, almost there, almost at wood smoke. We should have plenty of time. This has taken longer than it normally would because wood smoke is a little further away than I usually find it, um, and through some treacherous terrain. But you know, what's done is done. Here we go. And we didn't need to get our full part party there. Um, I just sort of did for the sake of helping us through that combat situation. Always good to see new faces. Join the quest. I am Hildebrand, the Queen's agent, overseeing things in the Guardian Forest. Things are bad here. Really bad. <laughs> oh yeah. All signs point to some evil folk catching a plot underground. The deepest caves in the region are accessed through the glittering mines, but they've recently been sealed with dark magic. <laughs> My sources have spotted a strange contraption here in the Guardian Forest. Go investigate it. I think it's our best lead. Yes. Yes. And the rain started again. Beautiful. <laughs> so let's try and get a quest here. What do we got? Um, kill the bandit in the Guardian Forest. Forest troll? Really? Iron foil hat. Or gold. Well, look, we're going to need the gold for sure. So let's try and do that. Oh, cool, it's on our way. We've had some really beautiful luck uh, in this particular case. I've gotten quests where, like, we need to get here, and it gives us a side quest, like, up here or something. And that's just, like, a real punch in the crotch, for sure. So, we don't need to have... I know for a fact this quest does not require a full party. I mean, no quest does, but, I mean, if you've got to go into a dungeon without your full party, like, what are you even doing, man? But uh, this, this quest uh, is just a single... Uh, role essentially you know only one of your party members can interact with it so we only need one person there uh, but we do have to take out take out this troll I've never I've never faced a troll before so this could be you know quite a thing uh, but we've got to get down here anyway because we can't access the troll any other way so that's fine perfect roll I love it I love where this is going oh fuck Okay, Dark Cave, that's fine. So this is a dungeon. This is an optional dungeon that they sometimes crop up. Um, I actually really like them because it's just a series of combat encounters. Um, one after the other. And you, look, you'll see it eventually. But for, for the moment, we don't want to deal with it. I don't, I don't think we can come back to it later. It's not a problem. Okay. Um, I'd be tempted to actually just do it on the way. You know what? We may as well spend... Let's do it. Beautiful. Uh, it's a resounding success. And we got a law book for uh, for it. I don't believe this does anything in-game, but it's essentially um, currency that you can use to unlock uh, other items to throw into the rotation of, of things that you might find randomly in the game. Uh, more classes, more random encounters, like uh, shops, travelers, uh, merchants, and... Shit like that, so that's pretty cool. It's always good to have more of that. Uh, looks like those purple robe folks didn't appreci appreciate us breaking their big toy. I'd say it's time we formally introduce ourselves. Best prepare for a good fight. Okay, so that's our big encounter over there. Uh, we've got 12 rounds, 11 rounds now, to take out the troll and then get our folks through this bee swarm, which shouldn't be a problem, I imagine. Um, and take out the cultists. That's probably more than enough time. So I'm thinking... Hang on. Um, I'm thinking... Look, we got to... Let's, let's get our guys over here anyway. Uh, my thought process is... We're probably going to be able to just get Warwick over here to engage combat. And it's probably going to involve these guys as well, maybe. 
But we don't have to get these guys. We don't have to get Kate and Annabeth all the way in here. Shouldn't have to. <laughs> Let's have a look. Beautiful. He's just rolling beautifully all day. Okay. Shit. <laughs> if I left them up there, it would have been fine. But as it stands, I've got to move them closer. That's annoying. But I mean, we got the turns to do it. So it, it's fine. Okay, what do we got? You have found the gallows, home of the hangman. This haunt can be sealed by defeating the scourge within or risk it awakening when chaos rises. So I believe the way this works is if you run out of time, chaos goes up. And as that happens, these maybe will spawn things or they become more dangerous. Something, something happens. <laughs> I haven't run out of time, run out of turns often. Uh, so I can't really say, but you know, if we can get rid of these things, we may as well. So, all right, so they're not close enough to, for me to pull them in. So I'm just going to leave him there. That's fine. I'll leave him there actually. And we'll end the turn. We'll see if we can get these guys in range now. They can all get on the same square. It's not a problem uh, in the turn. Yes, a little bit of XP action right there. I probably also should have set up camp there to maybe heal, but you know. Uh, what's done is done. Can we engage combat? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's try to ambush. Beautiful success. I'm not sure if that has any effect because it's probably just him on his own, but beautiful. So he's got 33 health, um, no armor. This shouldn't be a problem. Yes. See, inspire right there. So we got, uh, we got that extra, you know, success flip. Beautiful. This guy shouldn't be a problem unless he hits like unreasonably hard, which he might, but I doubt he's going to one shot anyone. Not at this stage of the game. Yes. Kill him softly with our song. <laughs> Beautiful. Look, he's so slow. We dodged his ass real good. I love it. Take him out. So encouraging. So inspiring. It's always good to have a minstrel in battle. Almost done. Can we kill, kill him with music? Yes. Look, one great rock song can change the world, man, or kill a troll. I've always said this. So, uh, yeah, we're going to give the money to Warwick. He's going to be our, our money bags for the moment, because he's going to eventually probably have to buy a boat. All right, so we've got a couple options here in that... You know, we can probably do this dungeon... Your party might not be ready for this. <laughs> um, Alright, look. We'll heed the warning. <laughs> What's this? General Merchant, you pass a peddler on the road. There are some useful looking odds and ends for sale amidst the common junk. Let's view the wares. So we can buy shit for, from him here. Uh, short bow. For only 11 gold? Boar spear. Let's let's upgrade our shit. So let's buy a boar spear for uh, for Kate, and we'll buy a short bow, buy an equip for Warwick here. Um, maybe leave it at that. We we do want to save. We do want to save some of our our gold here. I mean, there's there's no healing herbs. God's beard is what they call it. So we'll leave it at that. Um, then I think. Kate has to be on our square for us to trade items, uh, which is fine. We'll get there. Okay. Engaging combat, not just yet. We could sneak past, but we're probably going to have to spend focus to do it. And I want to save it for combat. Um, so we can only go here. Oh, God damn it. We've been ambushed. Son of a bitch. Yes. I don't want to deal with it right now, because that would have been a solo fight, I believe. Okay. Let's just see if we can... Um, yeah, we can. Give to Kate. I think that's Kate's portrait. No, that's Kate. <laughs> Awkward. All right. Cool. Let's attack. Um. Yeah, let's try and... Stack the odds in our favor here for an ambush. <laughs> yes. 
I don't want to deal with that bird as well. Let's just make this a, a quick and easy fight. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. So you notice it, it, um, it was an easier shot with the short bow, I think. The short bow has changed our stats. Or it's done something um, so that we only have to flip two coins as opposed to three previously. So permanent plus one to magic resistance. Let's give it to Annabeth, I think. Because she's the squishiest. So we want to wanna keep her healthy here. Nice days. He can move further, but there's no point. Because um, he just needs to go and attack. Okay. Beautiful. Yes, a little bit of XP. Feels nice. <laughs> Alright, first, hang on. I want to make sure that we've equipped the Vor Spear. Because it's, you know, three more damage. It's, it's nothing to sneeze at there. And let's do this. Yeah, eight, eight turns to spare. We probably could have and maybe should have done the Dark Cave. But we can do that next if we want. Um, let's do it. Uh, yeah, I guess. Hey! <laughs> Again, I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything otherwise. Okay. So we've actually got a new skill here. Uh, pin down. Which is going to remove, is going to debuff their speed if it hits with a perfect, right? So that's generally how these special um, abilities work. You know, you you it's not just the damage that's dependent on how well you flip or roll, essentially. Um, but yeah, if you do a, a perfect roll, then, then that's when the, the special effect comes into it. Uh, but for the moment, you know, we'll take out the guy with a fire because I don't want him to catch us ablaze. Um, and he hasn't, hasn't got any armor anyway, so let's just do that. Encourage? Oh, yeah. We're making all the plays now. I love it. Yes! A little, a little bit of one, two mana? Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I love it. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Look, I think we're gonna heal. You know, we could have gotten away with letting her die, but then she would have lost experience in order to revive her. We're probably just better off healing. Uh, take out the other guy with no armor. That's sort of my strategy in general. Just taking out the guys that are easy to take out first. And then we'll deal with the guy who's a little bit tougher. Yeah, we'll kill him softly, softly with our song. Shouldn't be a problem. I love it. Just like, what's happening there? He's like, oh, that melody is too good. Mm, let me just explode a little bit. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's aroused. <laughs> I probably should have spent a focus point there as I'm going to here. Oh, yes. Oh, that one shot meta. <laughs> so good. So now we got the, the key to the glittering mines uh, and we got a law book. Oh, ye oh, yes. This is the first time I've actually found an upgrade to the Mistral's loot. Oh, this is fucking fantastic. Okay, so our gold multiplier isn't as good, but we do four more damage, which is huge. Because that's sort of our weak point in terms of combat damage here is, is the minstrel. So, yes. <laughs> Drinking this delicious tea fills, uh, fills one with a reckless abandon, boasting office, but lowering defense. Okay. Let's just uh, collect it. Reveals the identity, blah, 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 this and that. Yeah. Nothing that we can equip just yet. Okay, excellent. You've unlocked the glittering mines. Uh, go see what you can find in there, but be careful. I'm sure those... Shifty, I was say shitty folks. Shifty folks in robes were up to no good. <laughs> yeah, you can better believe it, buddy. Wow, that is, this particular map is sort of like really, yeah, we got some shit that's really far away. I mean, we had some luck here with just stuff on, on our way, but um, that's going to be a little bit of a schlep that we're, we're probably going to save for next episode here. So, <sighs> Stone Hero Tribute, let's do it. We'll pay tribute, get the XP, refill our focus, and we'll head out. I think energy boost. Yes. So I think on the way. Oh, hang on. Seven rounds. Oh, that's part of the same. All right, we better. I was going to say we, we may do the, uh, the dark cave dungeon on the way, but we might not have the time. Not to alarm you, but it's getting dark. And if you don't finish that quest soon, we'll really be in trouble. 
So at night, zombies rise and shit like that. <laughs> but let's get everyone up there. Look, we may have been able to do the dungeon. Maybe we still will. Hang on. Enter. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll leave it there. So thank you guys very much for watching. Taste the game. Be excellent to each other. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget, if you're really enjoying this series and you want to see it continue, you're, uh, you know, not to be all like, oh, please give me likes, please, Mr. YouTube viewers. But uh, yeah, it really does help. So if you do like it, don't forget to like it. If you didn't like it, that's cool, man. Um, see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.